In Luke chapter 20, the chief priests and the scribes are after Jesus. He just told the story of some wicked vine dressers, and it was obvious that the parable was about them. So they're watching Jesus very closely. They even sent spies pretending to be righteous men to twist his words. Verse 21 says, Then they ask him, saying, Teacher, we know that you say and teach rightly, and you do not show personal favoritism, but teach the way of God in truth. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Even though the spies were very obvious in their attempt to flatter Jesus, a very serious question had been asked. If Jesus answered that taxes should be paid, he would infuriate the Jews. If he said that taxes should not be paid, then he made himself an enemy of Rome. But he perceived their craftiness, verse 23, and said to them, why do you test me? Show me a denarius. Whose image and inscription does it have? And they answered and said, Caesar's. And he said to them, render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. But they could not catch him in his words in the presence of the people and they marveled at his answer and kept silent. In his answer, Jesus affirmed that the government makes legitimate request of us, and we should be obedient to the government in civil and national matters. But just as the Roman coin was stamped with the image of Caesar, we are stamped with the image of God. This means that you and I belong to God, not to Caesar, and not even to ourselves.